today I'm in my unit. Got a cat bag exhaust to fit the Ford Fiesta. It's already open on uh, axle stands. It's got a blow at the back of the back box and the whole pipe's corroded all the way through. So we're putting a new system on, all from MPA parts. For those watching this video who want to subscribe to my YouTube, please go and do it. It's deck-spec. Uh, so have a look on that. I'll get this fitted. I've got the gaskets and the clamps as well. It's a one-piece exhaust, which is on the car from factory. Obviously, it's two-piece because you've got to cut it off or drop the back axle out. So underneath the car, first thing I'm going to do is these two 17mm bolts. You can see how corroded they are. We're going to clean up the end of the threads and I'm going to try and get these off without snapping them into the flexi. So you can see plenty of corrosion came off the end of the threads there. What that's going to do is that's going to stop the corrosion from going inside the nut threads when you back it off. Because that's what locks the nuts up initially. Then you just want a little bit of WD-40, you don't want to go nuts. So the threads are perfect on them, the, the nuts are reusable. Um, the amount of corrosion on this exhaust is crazy. It's literally all just filled up with my eyes and everything. It's just dropped all over the floor just because he's using the little amp impact gun. Uh, we've got a heat shield issue here as well where it's just rotted through so the bolts are still on here and we're at the back here we'll sort this out so next we've got this tool here basically this just makes your life easier but with two hands and you push the rubber through this tool is just a nielsen one it works absolutely perfect i think it was about 10 hour off ebay so it makes your life so much easier then you can see from factory the exhausts fit before the back axle so to to replace this, you're probably going to have to take the back axle out. That's why when you buy the new ones, they come as a two-piece with a clamp. It just makes more sense, but it's cheaper for the factory to do this when they build these cars. So we're going to cut this off here. And what we're going to cut this off with is a blue point exhaust cutter. It's just got loads of little blades on it, and they're absolutely insane. So that's what you want it like. Wrap round, hooked into the little hook, and you just want to rock backwards and forwards. You don't have to go too tight with it. Just backwards and forwards, and it will cut through. I can already feel it's going. So that's a nice clean cut there. Doesn't need to be clean, but refitting an exhaust, if you're making an exhaust or anything, them tools are just brilliant for that. So that's the middle section off there. See the new middle section here? It's also cut there. And that's the back box off there. See how crude the pipe is? But the hole is here. See the hole all the way around the weld. The back of the box is starting to completely rot. Getting pinholes all over the back box as well. So we'll get this replaced. Before we fit the new exhaust, I'm just going to fix the heat shield with some washers. So that's that secure there. Now to this part here. Secure there. It's just a temporary fix. It might last a year or so, but he's going to get advised on heat shields in anyway. This is just a free repair that I do, included in if I've got to fix the exhaust. I'm not going to start saying, oh, you need to spend money to fix the heat shield, etc. Back underneath the Fiesta. We'll get the exhaust put in now. So firstly, I've refit the back box. So now I'm going to get some exhaust paste put on here, just on the end. The reason I put it on this side, not the back box side, is because the back box slides over this, so it'll push the uh, the paste out, rather than putting it on the other side, where when you push this in, it pushes all the paste inside and it can cause a blockage in the exhaust. It can block up the silence out or anything like that, so always on this side, so when you slide it on, it pushes it back over and you can clean the residue off. So that's enough on there, just a little bit. Just a little tip before I jump under as well, these nuts always uh, end up running for the clamp if you tighten them up a bit too tight. So I've got hundreds of these nuts which I've bought from JSF Car Parts and I just put them on instead. And you can see your clamps onto a flat surface, also gets a better pressure when tightening up the clamp so it won't come loose. And if I'm ever on, uh, conscious of the exhaust clamp coming loose or if it's a return because it's come loose, double nut it. So tighten your first nut up, tighten that one up on the back of it and it literally can't come loose. So I'll jump back under the car, take the old gasket off. Put on the flexi. And we'll get the new gasket on there. We'll slide the clamp over the back box. You can put it on after, it's up to you. So you can slide in that side. You can see it pushes the paste out. I've put the washer, I've put washers onto the exhaust as well because it looks like it'll pull through on the nuts with a bit a bit wider. Haven't tightened anything up. The rubber mounts are on. The clamp's still loose at the back. You want to let the exhaust uh, rest where it wants to be then put the clamps on then tighten up the flexi um, this is because you don't want to tighten it up when it's all twisted because that just puts strain on the rubbers the rubbers will per perish and fall off and the flexi will snap it's just preventive maintenance doing it this way you want to get as much time out of the exhaust as possible that's the exhaust tightened up now i'm coming to my clamp so that's the complete exhaust fitted and um, we've got the double nut on there because i've had them come loose before and this is just my precaution so full back box I'm all set up with silencer. Just 
this clamp here, the way the screws are pointing down is completely fine because it's up here, it's not near the road. If you've got a clamp down the bottom here, you want to make sure that bolt's on pointing too far down because they can clip the floor and rip the exhaust bracket off and then cause a leak. So you want to turn them upside down or sideways or somewhere out of the way again, but so they're not hitting heat shields or anything like that. It's a little tip for everybody. So that's it started and it's quiet as a mouse now. I'm going to give it five minutes on idle to take over outside um, and then I'll knock it off. That will heat the uh, exhaust paste up and then when it cools down it will slowly just dry out nice and hard and we'll get no leaks. I'm going to move on to the service now and the front distant pad. Now I'm going to get the service done and the front distant pads. So that's coated Dura distant pads on from uh, MPA part. And that is the old disc. The data that is absolutely nuts. So the coated ones are going to be a lot better, they're going to last longer. Obviously the outer coat comes off with the brake pad wear, but obviously it's been sitting a bit longer over COVID and everything on this as well. Slides greased, new shim pins in, new pads, pads greased up, and we're looking good. So that's the passenger side done as well. I'm just flying through the video, I'm not doing really in depth, I've got to do the service now because Northeast Tunes just turned up to do a van for us. And he's just pulling the ECU up with a 1.9 Vavaro so we can give it a map. Oil coming out. These oil filters on your hand tight. Fresh engine oil now going in. Old air filter, new air filter go in. So now I've got the spark plugs to go in. Doing one cylinder at a time. Just to keep everything clean, stop any mistakes. Um, we'll get this plug out first. So that's an old plug out, Motorcraft. I've never seen them plugs in my life. But anyways, we'll get the nice NGKs in. And we can talk the spark plugs. So we've got the old problem filler and the new one to go in. Had the car MOT'd. So this is my friend's garage, Jameson's garage, absolutely mint, obviously sorted me MOT straight away, no problems at all, just while I wait, and he does lots of work. So anyone in the Newcastle area northeast, you can come and see him for any needs. And that's the service done.